Hi, my name's Ben, and in this video I'm going to be showing you three games how to reinforce times tables. Now, times tables, or multiplication times tables, are the absolute bedrock of learning for maths. Those, along with place value, are really, really important that the children have good, quick, accurate recall. So you can write them down, you can chant them, you can say them in partners, or you can play a few of these games. This one's a bit like Connect Four. So one child, and they can play it in partners, will choose a number, for example, 56, and what they have to do is they have to say a number a times table sentence to get that answer. So they could say 2 times 28 equals 56, or 7 times 8 equals 56, and then their partner has a go. And it's good to be able to check and challenge each other on this to really reinforce it. So then the next child will have their go, and they might circle 88, and they will say, or they can use coloured counters, and they'll say 88, 8 times 11, or 44 doubled. And it's good that they can use that different language too. And what they've got to try and do is compete against each other to get four in a row. Counters is really good for this. <clears throat> now, 100 square, really, really useful tool in any classroom. And what the children can do here is concentrate on factors and multiples, which we've talked about in previous videos. So the child will choose a number below 50, for example, 24. And what the other child has got to do is they've got to say... Um, a factor or a multiple of that number. So as a factor they could say 1 or 24, 2, 12, uh, or as a multiple, so that's the number that goes up in the 24 times table. So 24, 48, 72, for example. And they keep on going like that until there are no more numbers left. So from 24 we could say I'm going for a factor, 6, and then the other child's go, so a factor or a multiple of 6, so I might say a multiple, 18, because three sixes are 18, and that's how it works. And it's really good to get them to, again, check and challenge each other. My final game is this one is a really, really good one to use as a whole class group, and it's the yes and no game. I will think of a times table in my head, I will not share it with the children, and they have to give me numbers. So they might say 15, and I'll go no, because I know that's not in the six times tables. It's not a multiple of six. Or they might say 12, and I'll say yes. 20, no. 60, yes. And the more numbers you get, the easier it becomes to try and spot a pattern. And again, it's really good learning that children can spot patterns and relationships within numbers. And again, they can write that down secretly or they can share with you. So there are three games that you can use to reinforce times tables, and they're really useful to do alongside written practice as well.